everyone. My name is Erin and I'm the Makerspace and Digital Literacy Librarian at Brampton Library. And I'm here today to invite you to join our 3D printed community art project. Today's activity is part of Ontario Culture Days, and I invite you to check out the other Culture Days activities that are part of the Brampton Library Hub this year. Before we dive into today's workshop, I would like to acknowledge that we are presenting here today on the treaty territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, and before them, the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee, Huron, and Wendat. We also acknowledge the many First Nations, Métis, Inuit, and other global Indigenous people that now call Brampton their home. We are honored to live, work, and enjoy this land. Now, this project is inspired by uh, an installation called Linked uh, by artist Jeff DeBoer, which was first displayed at the Calgary Mini Maker Fair and later uh, displayed publicly at Edmonton Stanley A. Milner Library. It consists of hundreds of discs that were created by makers and creators from all over the world that are linked together in a chain mail, chain mail style fashion. And I have to say, it's pretty impressive. We actually started creating our own version of this type of sculpture at Brampton Library back in 2020, just before our doors closed due to the pandemic. Now that we have reopened all of our locations, we are ready to uh, reinvigorate this activity and we invite you to join it. We invite you to join in uh, by creating your own desk, 3D printing it and adding it to our growing sculptures. This is an example of a mini version that is on display at our Four Corners branch, um, but you'll also find them at our Springdale and Chinkuzi branches as well. We want this sculpture to represent you, our community. So when you're creating a design, think of something that represents you, your passions, and your hopes or aspirations. Here's how to participate. First, download the base disk from the Brampton Library website, uh, which you'll find linked under Make or on the linked web banner. Next, import that STL file into Tinkercad or any other 3D modeling application you may have access to. Use the tools to add your own design and then save your modified file as an STL. Let's take a look at how that's achieved. So here in Tinkercad, I've uploaded the STL file. Now Tinkercad is um, a really easy to use 3D modeling application. Uh, it's browser based, it's free, uh, and you don't need to download and install any software. It's also really easy to use. So here I've imported my base STL file. And I'm going to use some shapes over here to create a customized design. So you can see in the basic shape menu, there's lots of different choices. You could use these to make patterns. You can even add text. Um, the scribble feature is also one of my favorites because I can use my mouse to create sort of a really organic, interesting pattern or design, even a doodle like so. And then I can, uh, it creates that shape and I can apply it on top of my model. So this would be really great if you wanted to create maybe a cartoon style or um, uh, something unique or uh, even abstract to add to your design. So that's one option. We can also add text. Um, this is a popular option if there's a word or um, even your name or um, a loved one who you'd like to honor, you can add their name to your disk. And again, we can simply resize. Whoops, resize our text. can copy it. And update it. Create, explore. Uh, 
And the third word I want is copy and paste. And then of course you can use the uh, tools here to make some adjustments, adjust the spacing and so on. So that's one example. Now, if you'd like, you don't need to design directly here in Tinkercad. What's really neat about Tinkercad is it allows you to import other types of files that you can add on top. Um, so Tinkercad supports STLs, of course, OBJs, as well as SVGs. So if you've ever worked with a vector design tool like Illustrator or uh, Inkscape, which is free, uh, even Canva, if you have the upgraded version, you can download SVG files. Um, SVG files are scalable vector graphics, and really that just means that it creates images that can be increased or decreased without losing any graphic quality. So I'm actually going to choose a file that I found on a copyright free um, icon website. And I'm going to import that onto my design. This is an icon representing friendship. So I thought that I would really like that to be um, something represented in our sculpture. So it's two friends giving each other a high five with the heart above. I thought it was really cute. So as you can see, this um, imported uh, quite nicely. It's a simple design. And then I, all I need to do is simply adjust it to get it to fit nicely onto my medallion. And I'm going to add some text below. I want it to say, friendship. And I'm going to adjust the size of that text. We'll scale that down a little bit. And I actually want this to be um, not embossed, but debossed. So I want it to be not raised, but actually carved out of the base medallion. So I've made it actually a hole and I've um, indented it a little bit inside. Okay. So I do think that this is a little bit thick. So I'm just going to lower that a little bit. And let's see, I'm going to group it all. And we'll also change, let's see, we'll change the color. Oh, my text seems to have disappeared. So let's see if we can make it reappear again. Sometimes it's a little bit sluggish um, when we are live streaming, that's okay. So I'm just trying to ungroup it. It might still be processing. So normally when we group things together, it will combine into a single uh, model that we can download and 3D print. So let's just do a little refresh of our screen here and see if that solves our problem. weird. It's not letting me ungroup. That's okay. Let's see if it will do it now. Okay, so we might need to re-add our text back. Just to save time, I'm going to make it my initials and my the year. 
Whoops. Okay. We're going to scale that down. Just get it to fit on there quickly. And I'm going to make sure it's lowered into my base medallion, but doesn't go all the way through. And now we can group it. Hopefully that works this time. Yeah, I think that works. So you can see if I zoom in, there's sort of um, an indentation. Oh, it looks like it did go all the way through. So we'll fix that. So I'm just checking the bottom because what I want to happen is I don't want it to go all the way through. I just want it to um, engrave the top. So let's see if that worked out this time. There we go. That's a bit better. See what I mean? See how we've sort of carved out, whereas this, this piece is um, positioned on top. Okay, so once you're happy with your design, um, what you're going to do next is actually export it as an STL file. So I've done that here. Um, you can rename your file um, up here in the top left. So I'm going to call this Aaron's disk. I'm going to download that again so I have it titled properly. And there we go. So it's really easy, as you can see, to modify the base file here in Tinkercad. Um, you can upload other SVG files that you found online or other designs that you have created in another application, as long as it's saved as an SVG file. You can also design your own uh, design using Illustrator or um, Inkscape, uh, as long as it is a vector design, it can be imported and applied on top of your uh, medallion here in Tinkercad. Okay. So that's one example of how you can easily customize your disk, put your own spin on it, um, create a design that represents you, something you're passionate about or something you uh, hope and dream about for the future. Once you're done, uh, you can download the STL file like, like we have done and we will show you how to upload the file. So right now our maker spaces are closed to the public. However, we are offering a remote makerspace on demand service. You can find that here under Makerspace Brampton and it's linked right here at the top of our Makerspace page. Now Makerspace on demand offers virtual consultations uh, through which you can request a 3D print, a vinyl cut or even a smile button. Um, let's click on our online form and see what that looks like. So in order to print your medallion, um, what you want to do is make a request through our Makerspace on demand form. So I'm going to do a test for you here, just to show you how easy it is to submit your request. You enter in your contact details. And then the next page will ask you which type of request you would like. We're going to select 3D prints. And then it's just a matter of uploading that file that we just created. So there it is, Aaron's disk STL. And then I'm going to say for the community 3D printed art project. Once you do that, you'll ask you for um, your preferred time for a quick virtual consultation. We'll, we'll just talk briefly about your um, project and your design. and your preferred pickup location. Agree to the terms. And voila, we request your request. Your request has been received.
And that's the third step is submitting your design through our Makerspace on demand service. Now, here's some pictures of some designs that we've already received. Um, these are from our Springdale branch. As you can see, someone's creative. Someone added a, uh, a game dice on top of theirs. Uh, and here's um, some that have been assembled together. All each one is unique. Okay. Um, now, a lot of people ask if we can print in multiple colors. Um, yes and no. We do have single extruder 3D printers. So that means the printer can only print in one color at a time. That being said, if you're interested in say a simple uh, two color print like this black and white one right here, that may be something we can achieve through um, some hacks depending on the printer that we're using. So if you're interested in that, you can let us know in the notes section of the Makerspace on demand form and a staff person will work with you to uh, figure that out. But generally, we do only print in one color at a time. But the nice thing about PLA is it can be painted very easily or even colored in with the Sharpie. So this uh, yellow and red one here, um, that was uh, how it was colored uh, with a red Sharpie. And you can see uh, it came out quite well. Okay. And that's as simple as it gets. Um, download your file apply your own design, download your customized design and upload it to us through the Makerspace on demand form to be added to our 3D printed sculpture. If you enjoy projects like these, um, I invite you to join us for our virtual maker meetups. They happen the last Tuesday of every other month. Our next meeting will be on Tuesday, September 28th at 7 p.m. over Zoom. And you can find details on how to join us in our calendar, ver calendar of events at bramptonlibrary.ca. For more information about this project and our makerspace services and programs, be sure to visit bramptonlibrary.ca. You can also send us an email at makerspace at bramptonlibrary.ca. Thanks so much for participating today, and we look forward to receiving your customized medallion to add to our growing community crowdsourced 3D printed sculpture. Thanks so much. Take care.